Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to go over the different options on this Maytag washing machine. And before we begin, make sure that you refer to your owner's manual for all the specifics on your washer. And when you're using your washing machine, make sure that you follow all the safety instructions in the owner's manual and take all safety precautions. Okay, so we'll start with the soil level and we have three different settings here. We have light, regular, and heavy. And depending on how dirty your clothes are is what you're going to pick here. If your clothes are not that dirty, you would pick light. If they're just the normal amount of dirty, you would pick regular. And if they are really dirty, you would pick heavy. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to look at is the wash temp, and we have tap cold, cold, cool, warm, and hot. Um, and depending on what you're washing will be what you select here. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to take a look at is all the different cycles here. And the first one we'll take a look at is power wash, and you would use this one for really dirty clothes. Okay, so the next setting that we're going to look at is whites, and you would use this setting when you're doing a load of whites. Okay, so the next option we're going to look at is the bulky sheets option, and you would use this option for larger items, um, you know, such as like sheets or comforters, uh, those types of things. Okay, so the next option we're going to look at is normal, and we use this option the majority of the time in our house, and you would use this option for just everyday regular loads of laundry. Okay, so the next option is wrinkle control, and you would use this for things that you want to try to prevent wrinkles in. Okay, so the next option is hand wash, and you would use this for really delicate items. Okay, so the next option is cold wash, and when you use the cold wash cycle, you need to use one of the cold water options on wash temp. And this option will wash your clothes with cold water while trying to protect the clothing. Okay, so the next option is soak, and this will soak the clothing in water, and it will still agitate the water and clothing every so often, and then it will drain the water, and there is no spin cycle. Okay, so the next option is rinse and spin, and you would use this option if you had clothing that needed an additional rinse and spin. Okay, so the next option is drain and spin, and you would use this option to drain the water out of the washing machine, and then it would go through a spin cycle. Okay, so the next option is clean washer with off-fresh, and they make off-fresh tablets for the washer, um, and you're supposed to use those every so often to clean the inside of your washing machine. I don't have any to show you right now. I need to buy some, but when you do this, you do not want to do this with any uh, items in the washing machine, just the off-fresh tablet to clean the washer. Okay, so the next options we're going to look at are the rinse options. So we have one rinse, two rinses, one rinse with fabric softener if you are to put fabric softener, uh, you know, into the washing machine, and then two rinses with fabric softener. And on our washing machine, this is where the fabric softener goes, and it does tell you to dilute with water. Okay, so the next option we're going to talk about is the water level option, and there are two different options. There's the auto sensing option, which it's on right now, which will fill up the washing machine with the amount of water based on the auto sensing feature. And then there's the deep water wash option, which will fill up the washing machine really full. And the deep water wash option will not work with the normal cycle option. And take a look at the bottom of the lid on your washing machine. It may have information like this that tells you about the different cycles and water temps and more. And the lid needs to be closed before you start the washing machine. And it needs to stay closed while the washing machine is running. Okay, so uh, when you have everything set to where you want it to be, you can press the start button right here to start the washer cycle. Uh, you can also press it again to pause the washer cycle, and then if you need to cancel it, you just press and hold this button for three seconds. And these lights will light up to let you know where you're at in the washing cycle. All right, guys, that was it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.